Anyways, so let's go new action. General. So now we're going to compare to see which one was the max voted. So if comparison, OK, click the bracket, variable. If the max voted map equals equals map votes one. So if the max voted map was the desert, then we're going to environment set the lighting set the lighting to so I believe the desert was the original yeah Zill um, and we're gonna blend it over one second just so it's not so harsh and then we are going to um, hold on um, we're gonna do a variable and we're gonna set the spawn points oops set variable and so for that, we're going to actually need some more global variables here. And we need to go new spawn points. And this is going to be point. And because we have four spawn points, I'm going to make that a size four. If you had more, you'd increase that. Let's go back into vote timer ending here. So we're going to set spawn points zero to equal uh, point one, because I believe point one is in the desert. Yes. And this is why you should rename, so you don't have to go back and check. So point one and spawn points one to equal point two. Spawn points. Oops. Spawn points two to equal point three. And spawn points three to equal point four. Okay. And now we need to copy paste this. And if the max votes was for the force level, we're going to set the lighting to be of the force level, which happens to be right there nicely. And then we need to change these also. The spawning points are now different. It starts at 5, uh, 6, 7, and this by doing this, this will save us time later. When we spawn the unit, we don't have to know whether they're in the desert or forest. We can just use spawn point zero, spawn points one, and so on. And um, and one thing we want to do now also um, is just a skip remaining actions right at the end here. And you could do one here. Not really necessary. If you had more, though, you would need it if you had more maps. Um, and this is just so that if they're all equal, if nobody voted for anything, this is going to be zero, zero. Everything's going to be zero, so it's going to go through here, and then it's going to go through here. So it's... Uh, we don't. If we go, th if we go through this one, we want it to just skip the rest because we know this is the map now. We don't. We don't. We know we don't ha have to go here. But if nobody voted for anything, that means it could be either of these. But just because the order of the way we did the trigger, it's going to run through here. It's going to pick desert. See that desert was picked, and then it's going to skip the rest. So desert. If nobody votes for anything, desert's always going to be picked, and that's just the way we. Just the way we're making it. You could switch it around if you wanted, um, and that should be good for that. And now we need to actually spawn the uh, spawn the unit for the player. So let's make spawn unit. And this is actually going to be tied into here. Um, copy paste and put it before the skip remaining actions and go trigger. And we want to run trigger. And we want to run as spawn unit. Check conditions and let's wait. You want to wait. And let's copy paste that into here too. So it will uh, run spawn unit after it sets all these points. And Let's go to spawn unit, or let's call it spawn units. There we go. So it doesn't need any events, and it's going to be initially off. Control W. Um, so we want to do general, I mean, yeah, general, oops, I mean, player group. Pick each player in player group. Okay. And we want to pick each player in the active players, which are the players that are playing in the game. And um, then we want to do. Control W inside here, and we want to go U twice to unit, and where is create? Create unit facing angle. So we want to create one. Oh, that's weird. Create one zergling, and just to check, we did the right unit. I'm going back to the data editor now. Click on zergling. Yes, he has our behavior, so it's zergling. Uh, sorry, I just had to check that again. So we're going to create one Zergling for player. And this is the interesting part. You can just go picked player. So 
from if we're it's going to pick player one two three four if they're all playing and now it's going to create one zergling for player one the first round for the first time this loops through at point variable spawn points and we need to do a math actually at um, picked player minus one we need to do minus one because uh, if it's player one you want to spawn it spawn, spawn, spawn point zero not spawn points one good and copy paste and let's um, select the unit for the player unit selection select unit select last created unit for player and change this to ah, change this to picked player good and now let's lock the camera so copy paste hit C to go to camera there it is and let's pan the camera pan the camera for player player group picked player to change the bracket there unit position of click triggering unit and change it to last created unit over zero seconds with whatever that's good enough copy paste the camera thing and change it this time to be lock the camera input so because we don't want them to mess around for the player player and by the way they can actually click the portrait of their unit and it will stop following so that's just a bug that uh, is in the game right now even when I lock it they can still click it and get unlocked and then we want to follow unit group with camera and we want to follow for player function player group picked player and change this to unit group convert unit to unit group and then change this to be the last created unit so now, yeah, so now it's going to get our last created unit and clear current target. And so everything should be set now. Um, I don't know how this is going to go, but why don't we go in game and find out and see if we have any bugs. Okay, we're um, just about in game here. Okay, and we see that our dialogue isn't showing. Our vote timer is, but our dialogue isn't showing. Um, so let's go back and fix that. Uh, so the issue was, which I can't believe I missed this. This is what happens when you have bad notes. Um, our dialogue, we never showed it. it, we just created it, but we didn't actually do anything with it, so simple, simple just show slash hide dialogue, uh, show, there we go, and that should be good, so let's go test this now. Okay, we see our dialogue now, our vote timer is going down, desert level, forest level, I'm going to vote for the desert level, and I can mask, see, the good thing about our system is that you can keep clicking, and because it stores what we previous clicked, it's not going to stack that level too much. Okay, we're in the desert level, which worked out good, and we can see our creep is nicely coming behind our little zergling. Um, so that's good, and you can kind of make little creep highways. That might be useful for people, but you can see it's kind of decaying already pretty quickly, so you could increase the, uh, yeah, you can increase the decay time in the gameplay data. Um, but this is pretty cool, and let's restart and see that it'll go to the forest level. Okay, I'm going to vote for forest level this time. Um, and hopefully it'll spawn us up in this area at spawn point zero since we're player one. And hopefully player two, three, four will be at the other spawn points if you had them. Yep, we're up here now and a little creep trail is going and everything's pretty successful. So I hope this tutorial is helpful for people that uh, need to do this sort of random stuff. I mean, this isn't like a tower defense tutorial like my other one, but this has some useful stuff, you know, voting. A lot of maps need to use voting. And uh, thanks for watching, so hope this helped.